My name is Rick Berube from Rick J. Berube Art Studio. And I just want to give you a brief little video of my uh, second floor studio. It's mainly for my big oil paintings. Uh, bigger, I should say. They're not that big, but, you know, they're like Bob Ross style. Uh, this is basically my Bob Ross uh, studio. <laughs> not, might as well call it that. We have, um, well, the painting that's up there is being dried right now. Anyway, I wanted to mention, if anybody has noticed, RJB has always signed my paintings and everything, actually, all my drawings. And the reason is, my name, obviously, is RJB, which J is for Joseph, in case anybody's wondering. Not that it matters, but um, I didn't want to sign my name as Rick Berube, so, because <laughs> it was just too long. And, it, you know, using a uh, line of brush and oil paint and uh, uh, it was a nightmare so I just decided to shorten it and make it my initials and that's, it. And that's how that happened so anyway here we are this is um, a brush beetle box I guess that's what Bob calls it Bob Ross that is I made this my own this is my own invention thing so it's glass so you don't have to smell oh, actually it's uh, plexiglass then inside it's made for two hands <laughs> Inside, hey, by the way, I'm right here. Hello, I don't know if you can see me. That's there's a stick in the middle and a bag, so it doesn't, you know, when I smack the, the brush back and forth, it just contains all the spray. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, that would be a nightmare. Anyway, they have this case I made. This is huge. It goes behind the refrigerator that I really didn't want to show you, but there's a refrigerator here. I mean, this is in the kitchen. I used to rent this out to my uncle uh, a couple years ago and he's no longer here he's in, well he moved so that's why we decided to uh, also there's an oven right here too <laughs> actually I put these in because this was a bedroom at one point because <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a two family converted to a single and then we converted it back and forth so it was a, you know it's kind of a mess and these walls are blue <laughs> uh, my daughter Ashley she um, well, she's like 30 now 30 actually 30 one. Oh my god I'm getting old <laughs> yeah she she wanted blue walls and this was her bedroom at one point so <laughs> it's like I said it's I got it out basically and uh, I put these temporary cabinets that I, I got for free from some, a friend of mine where I used to work and I used that for my desk as you can see as well my painting all my supplies and stuff my paints are in here I have all another whole set downstairs but this is set of all Bob Ross style oil paints and all those brushes as you can see I kind of put them on a board because I use them all the time so well, basically I didn't use this one yet and as you can see that's brand new it, most of these have been used a few times and there are some brand new ones also I have an outline of where these brushes go because I just was getting sick of uh, not remembering where I you know put wood brush or whatever plus I have like I use multiple brushes for each painting, so you have a, you know, these are all, uh, there's dark, docks, and then lights, I'll do light paints with these, same with these, so I have one of each, you know, one inch brush, two inch brush, one inch brush, two inch brush, docks, lights, and then this is miscellaneous, <clears throat> and then I have, um, this is a full, uh, this is, oh, actually, this is the half size, or, no, this is the full size, round brush, foliage brush, downstairs I have the half size, and, Roberts, fan brushes, all different sizes. A couple of script wider brushes. This is you know, obviously a blending brush, makeup brush, just to use a blending. That's not really used up here often. <laughs> Every now and then I do, just for little little areas. And then I got a couple of more knives, the large and the small. And that's it for Bob Ross stuff. I put my uh, old brush paint thinner in here, R in here, and also. I have liquid white, I have plenty of that, I have extra in the back. Over here I have some supplies, it's a little dark, sorry about that. Uh, I made some um, wash, I forgot the name of the person, I should have wrote it down, that actually did this, but he's, a, he's cool, he's on, online, and he actually, I don't know if he invented it, but he, it's like, I don't know, there's three quarters water, uh, there's, some, there's some liquid soap, like uh, dishwashing detergent, and that mixed with, that's about it, really. Oh, no, and then olive oil, that's right. I haven't done this in a while. But it works pretty good. It cleans brushes really well. And then I have some mediums here. You know, liquid gesso, I have black gesso. 
clear liquid clears different uh, mediums another container this is just why I just keep this paint thinner in there also down here paint thinner some Oro's paint thinner, mineral spirits, and Oro's paint thinner in there, and paper towels and all that. So not to bore you, <laughs> this case I made. This is a huge case. Uh, it's, it just preserves all the. It's a drying case, basically. Uh, also, because at one time I was doing like five a week, <laughs> and I would just be piling them in here, slide them in. Just, Getting kind of but yeah, this is very heavy duty. It's on wheels. This is not mind that, but really can't see it. But it's just a big box, a huge box, and I put it on casters because it weighs a ton. <laughs> but, uh, I had to modify it too. It was uh, twice as big as that when I was downstairs at one point in a different area. And I cut it down to, to make it through the door, which well, right now it's covered. <laughs> but also, I made this. Uh, this was online uh, also, so I can't take credit for most of these. Th that thing I take credit 100% for, because <laughs> that's mine. And this, in this uh, case also. But this, again, uh, <laughs> that was done about, I want to say, three, almost two and a half years ago. But I'm going to have to, I'll, I'll put the reference in the description. I'll look it up and I'll let you know who these guys are. But it, I kind of modified it to my liking. This, these are glass, obviously. And the, the different plates that come off, but underneath it, just plain panels of wood and two by fours. And diesel is cutting at this. That wasn't like that. <laughs> He's starting to chew it up. But it just basically holds the uh, palette, you know, all the, the paints and stuff. I, as you can see, I really never used it for right directly on here because I found that I rarely use the temporaries. These things. So I just basically put this on top of here, and of course I got a camera in case I ever get that, get used to doing that <laughs> the right way. This is old, I don't know, I have some oil spot on it, but whatever, so I do the paints on there and I have a light so I can turn that on. Oh, this main switch is over here which turns everything on, so I'll have my camera going, and I'll just turn it on itself, and then the lights, lights, camera, action, right? Then I can turn everything else on. But I have a main switch, I just shut it all down so I don't have to individually shut each one. Because I, I put these up here, these you know, switches. I could do them individually, but. Yeah. Because uh, they have the, uh, the original Bob Ross palette. And I'm holding it backwards. <laughs> it goes like this. I hold it like that. You can see that. Anyway, that's. She is, right? I have some um, extra canvases back here for storage area. You know, 18 by 24s. I think these are what are these? 22 by 28s. I've got a whole box of those, and I got a box, a case of these are 24 by 36 in that box. And some more there. So it's all it's all back there. So every square inch is taken in this place. So I can you know utilize for storage and try to stay organized as much as possible. I also have another brush beater box back here. It's just a temporary one. It was a cardboard box and I stand it. put it in this old TV stand. So, but I kind of like the new one I made up above it. And almost finished here. Um, let me show you this. We have the brush beater box again. Uh, well, actually, it's, just, it's my own invention thing. I just put the, uh, uh, well it's not really my invention, but it's, so I just bought this at Walmart, this, this thingy here. Take this off, see? see it better that way. Whatever they call that, a rack, some sort of rack. You know, it's a bigger one, so it fits in a large container. So my larger brushes, and can really do a good job. And then close the top and keeps the, for the most part, it keeps most of the smell in there. Because it's paint thinner, it's not really good for you, so. And I have a door in the summertime. It's nice. I can open up the door. I don't, again, I can show you a little bit. Let's see. Let's see outside. <laughs> anyway, that's. I just covered that. 
So that's about it, and um, hopefully everybody likes this. You, know, you don't have to like it, but <laughs> I just wanted to let everybody know how I paint upstairs in my larger size paintings, Barbara style, in oils. And sometimes I'll do a crow up here also. And by the way, the uh, I forgot to mention about this uh, easel right here that I made. Let's see, I'll take this off for a second. Pretty much dry, thank God. No, it's been it's been sitting there for about a month now, so it's it's pretty much dry. I think. But this is a I invented this little. I know it's not really set up, but I mean it's set up, but just not tight or anything. So this is good as you can see how it's made. I really can't take it out because I permanently screwed it down to this desk. So. But you know, you have two rails and a uh, long screw in the middle, and the bolts, and they just they slide up and down. It's a little thing to grip it, and it goes up and down, and as you can imagine, that's how it works. So, it's pretty cool. A little hinge up here with the stem. And, you know, this this is a table. It's a table easel. You know, and I, I I can use it. I can make more of these, or I was thinking of making some of these, and, you know, for other people, but. I don't really know any other artists in locally, so especially at this back backside right there. Maybe one of these days I'll maybe in the springtime I'll do some more. I'll make some up just to show you how I do it and I'll take a video of it. Anyway, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.